And when God looked down on the cross, he didn't see his son because his son was covered with our sins. Every sin of all humanity was hanging on him. And the father turned his back on sin, not on his son, but he bore our sins, wounded for our transgression, bruised for our iniquity. Hallelujah. And when you realize that your very spiritual life is dependent on what he did, and then when you're bold enough to believe it, and then courageous enough to confess it, that's when the Lord says you're saved. With the heart man believeth unto righteousness, with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. And from the time you make that confession, Satan is doing everything in his power to make you take it back. But I hear Paul say, who shall be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus? Can tribulation? No. Persecution? Listen, I want you to know it doesn't matter what the enemy throw at you. When you've got the right conviction concerning Jesus, nothing will separate you. I can have pain in my body, but that won't separate me. I can be lied on, but that won't separate me. I can have bills I'm not able to pay, but that won't separate me. It doesn't matter what it is, because I know who Jesus is. Glory to God, I can go through, because I know who he is, and I know who he is. I'm not on my way to heaven because my name is Gilbert. I'm not on my way to heaven because I'm a member of the Church of God in Christ. But I'm on my way because I know who Jesus is. And because I have put my faith in him. And I've gone past the thinking stage. I've gone into the knowing stage. Mm. I know that when I was bound for hell, and you can say what you want to, the infidel is bound for hell. <laughs> Only the fool says in his heart, there is no God. And then when you believe in God, I know there are other religions, but I've got to believe what my Lord said. Jesus said, I the way. That little three letter word, T-H-E, the, denotes a state of onlyness. He didn't say I am a way. And some can come by me and others can go by the door of some other religion. But I heard him say, no man. I don't care where it come from, no man. And that means man and means woman. No man comes unto the Father except to come by me. He says, I'm the way, I'm the truth, I'm the life, I'm the door. By me, if any man enter, he shall be saved. But if he climbs up some other way, he's a thief and a robber. And I just want you to know that Jesus is the only one through whom we can have access into the heavenly Father's presence. That's when I pray. That's the reason that when I pray, I make sure that prayer is uttered in the name of Jesus. God doesn't have to hear me because my name is Gilbert Patterson. God doesn't have to hear me because I passed the temple of deliverance. I am the president of Bountiful Blessings Ministry. God doesn't have to hear me because I'm presiding bishop of the Church of God in Christ. But when I come to the Heavenly Father, I tell him I'm not coming because of anything in me. But I come in the name of Jesus, the one who was wounded for my transgression, bruised for my iniquity. I come in the name of Jesus because my Bible said that you love the Son and you've given all things into his hand and you put everything under his feet. I come to you in his name because 
Because he said, whatsoever I ask the Father in the name of Jesus, that the Father would do it, that the Father might be glorified in the Son. I'm glad I know who Jesus is. When I was a little boy growing up, they used to sing, everybody don't know. Everybody don't know. Everybody don't know who Jesus is. But they said, he the lily of the valley. He's the bright morning star. He's fairer than 10,000. Everybody ought to know. And then I heard him say, I'm glad I know. Is there anybody in here going to say, I'm glad I know? I'm glad I know who Jesus is. I know because one day I was sinking deep been saying, far from the peaceful shore, deeply stained within, sinking the rise no more. Oh, from sinking sand, he lifted me, picked me up out of the miry clay, put my feet on a rock, established my going. Yeah, ever since that day. 
God, we thank you. We thank you. Lord Jesus, now we know that who you really are. We thank you for coming to know you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for God you so loved the world. That you gave your very best. That you gave your only begotten son. The just for the unjust. Now as we stand today and our mind and heart reflect back to that awful day on Calvary Cross. That your son in turn gave his life. That we may have the right to the tree of life. Now God as we stand before you. Search our hearts. If you find anything that displeased with us, just sight, take it out. Forgive us of our sin in the name of Jesus. That we not eat up this bread and drink of the fruit of the vine unworthy. In the name of Jesus. Now God, we pray to eat up the fruit of the vine, drink of the fruit of the vine, and eat of the unleavened bread. Bless it. That they may receive it may receive strength and healing in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord we said thank you amen and amen